Hey guys, help us up here. Gonna do the continued reaction to the totally legit recap Rainbow Rocks Part 1. Oh, this will be full part 1 because I did half of it, so this is gonna be the full half of part 1. Because the last one. His videos on the movies are always kind of long, so I like to limit it. So, anyway, for, let's get to the I forget that's the one in the one. Top deal is just way too bright and lacks contrast. Also, the ripped sleeves, that's a little too high topic, bro. I'm just saying. Still, I'm not gonna nitpick. You do you. Just a friendly little additional perspective for you. I still give it 7.5 out of 10. Then we have this situation. You got a fucking problem, bro? Why <laughs> is everything purple? What are you trying to accomplish with these sleeves here, dude? What century do you think it is right now? What do you even call this? It's your pants and your shirt are attached. It's like a onesie, a jumpsuit. Hold on, let me Google this Kinda shit. Kind of like a sweats or something. A siren suit. Okay, granted, uh, that is clever. Irony. I will give you that, but considering the result, I don't know if selecting your outfit based on a pun is necessarily advisable. Why is this so poofy? You're poofy enough up here. This is enough poof for your entire crew right here. <laughs> Sweet, merciful, Jesus Christ. What on earth are these things? Look, yeah, I get it. You've all got your little symbol cutie mark thingies. Sonata's got a patch on her shirt. Oh, I never got noticed belt that. buckle and hair thingies, but those are like, you know things that make sense that like people will wear people have belt buckles and designs on their shirts but who wears <laughs> pins on their legs all right let's everybody just calm the fuck down <sighs> okay <sighs> i i could deal with it i could deal with all of it if it weren't for the leggings like adagio look I, i'm i'm a huge fan i, I love you babe i really do <sighs> but you look like a walking personality <laughs> disorder and shimmy's like oh hey are you the villains for this one and adagio's like we are Oh, shit. Uh, well, unfortunately, I don't have magic right now, so I'm gonna have to bash <laughs> your skulls in with <laughs> Oh, no, don't worry. This movie is a low-key slice-of-life high school drama. We're just the bitchy transfer <laughs> to suck the magic out of your lives and conquer your social hierarchy. Yeah, tell everyone uh, your secrets. Uh, all right, you, what the fuck was that? What? I'm doing some foreshadowing for the audience. Get off my back. <laughs> they already know what's going on. Keep the shit on the DL, for Christ's sake. Okay, you dumb sluts. Right, fuck you, buddy. <laughs> we have some basic character types. Nothing too complex, mind you. Just a minimal set of easily parsable personality characteristics that'll make us into waifu material for the slavering masses. What the f***? Sonata, you be the cute, stupid one. Can I make up my yeah. backstory? No, that's what fan fiction is for. The less specific <laughs> we get, the better. Come on, man. Can I at least have, like, one personality quirk? Fine, just keep it simple. How about I like tacos? I don't know. Sounds kind of dumb. I don't think it'll catch on, but whatever. Now, Arya, you're going to be the bitchy Sundere one. Go f*** yourself! Fine, but it's not like I want to or anything. Perfect. Anyway, I, of course, will be the sexy, seductive one. Don't we all kind of want to be that, though? I mean, we're trying to be good waifus here, right? Maybe <laughs> we should go for something with a little more nuance to it, you know? Oh, here we fucking go every <laughs> goddamn time. I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I just mean maybe we should sit down and finesse this a little bit more, like write up some character sheets or whatever. It's not a nobody fucking cares. We're not trying to win a goddamn Oscar here i just think you guys are underestimating people like doesn't a more developed and emotionally involving character make a better waifu by default why go to all that trouble when you can well, just i've heard is mainly about them fill in the blanks a cartoon the that people hand. want as a, a, a and the best actual relationship is most of them are so autistic they can't happen. even separate the source material from the shit they made up so they'll all start bickering amongst themselves about it happens more than you think apparently is the right one you know what i can't really argue with that see i know what i'm doing christ it's like defending a goddamn dissertation. Yo, can we please get on with this shit? I just want to go home and masturbate. 
Okay, what? it's all I have left. Anyway, <laughs> then we get this scene, and Jesus Christ, all this gyrating and hip swiveling and the faces they're making. Look, I get this is a slight upgrade from our normal little girl show, because it's supposed to be a tween age girl show, and maybe I'm just out of touch with modern children's television, mm. but this is like overtly sexual. <laughs> I don't even need porn yeah, in these it's characters. True. I can just jack off to this. <laughs> just to be clear, though, please do continue making porn of them, especially our fucked in the end. Also, Adagia, <laughs> I owe you an apology. Your clothes look goofy as fuck when you were walking around and talking, but when you're singing and throwing your hips at me like a wrecking ball, it just works. It draws attention to all the right places. I concede this one entirely. You've earned my respect in several of my... You're, especially when they dance. The leads. entire school starts arguing about which of these three is the best waifu and who they belong to because that is proper protocol when you meet someone who What's has the same the waifu as you. You know, thing. don't congratulate one another on your good tastes and have an interesting discussion about this character you love so much. Start screeching at each other about who she would like better. I know that sounded like Those sarcastic are very commentary or something, but I'm being serious. Well, this is anime as well. Out of curiosity, I ran a poll a couple weeks ago to see which siren people like the best and the results were exactly as expected. <laughs> Anyway, the sirens use their student bodies <laughs> to hypnotize horse girl high as unfortunate. I've seen one of those hypnotizing things that actually works. Musical waifu faggotry competition. And Sunny Bun is like, okay, it's definitely time to go get an adult. And Human Celestia is like, sorry, dude, but schools can't actually discipline students anymore. Every time we try now, some whack job parent blows us out on Facebook, so we just gave up. Jokes on them <laughs> in the long run, but my hands are tied. And then Human Luna's like, perhaps Sunset Shimmer is just eager to make someone else out to be a bad element. Burn. Okay, I have had enough. Look, Principal says Celestia may not be the brightest uh. of the bunch, but high school principal is a pretty shit job, so at the end of the day, they're probably lucky to have her when she's not being brain buggered by booty calling the sugar lumps over here. <laughs> this cunt. I don't care if she's under right. the swivel hip mind meld. Even without it, she's a fucking moron, and right now she's being an outright shitty person. Celestia was just like, sorry, yeah, can't help you, but true, this belt around her shirt wearing bitch is straight up talking shit about poor Sunny Buns here. This woman should not be an educator or probably even allowed near children. I bet she goes walking around during break and lunch just looking for an excuse to put someone in detention. I bet she accuses this guy of being high all the time for no fucking reason and calls <laughs> his parents in and tells them she thinks he's selling pot to the other students. Never mind he actually wasn't high that day. He's well, just tired because he's late doing his fucking homework like he was fucking lives, supposed so they usually to. And never don't mind give all the other students. times he totally was high and she didn't even notice. And now it's her fault that his parents searched his room and his computer and got rid of all his porn and sent him to counseling. You fucking kids have it so goddamn easy now with your free streaming sites. Do you have any idea how hard it was to get obscure fetish porn back then? Especially what? if you were underage. Fuck you, human Luna. I hope you enjoy slash hey. tires and laxatives in your coffee. What? Fucking bitch. <laughs> That was just... Wow. <laughs> My god, man. <laughs> Talk about Bernie Luna. Jeez. <sighs> well, that was part one. God, that was crazy. Jojo was just him talking about what the sirens are wearing. And Bernie Luna, so... Anyway, I hope you guys like it. Like, this, like, subscribe. And don't forget this is DWKs. So please subscribe to there. There's. So yeah, have a nice day. Shine.